Well, hello again. Uh, this is my new project uh, for today. You see, I found uh, a few lithium cells that's uh, 18650, uh, you know, the classic uh, cells. This one are coming from uh, old laptop batteries. I checked all these cells, they are pretty good and in a pretty good shape. And I am trying to to have a laptop battery for my laptop here. So uh, I was thinking about having a 3S8P, that means three rows in series and each row have um, eight cells in parallel. One, some, something to say about this, uh, first of all we have to put them uh, as balanced as possible. The power or the amps for each row should be as equal as possible. So uh, somehow I put different cells with different um, amperage or capacity to, to have this uh, in order. I recommend having this kind of plastic uh, spacer, radiating shell, how they call it. Well, I call it just a plastic support. You see, the, you, can, you can put them in different shapes for any kind of uh, configuration. Now I have to do this uh, for this kind of pack. Okay, so the support is ready now. Like I said, I'm gonna have eight in parallel, three rows in series. So now all we have to do is to plant the uh, is to plant the cells in here. Well, it's not such a big deal, you see. We have these plastics here. So now I put the first row with the plus down. Come on. Yes, it's in. Here we go. The second row it's coming with the plus up. You see the cells have been used before so they are looking uh, pretty ugly but they are still good. And I may say that's a piece of advice. Always let the tab, let the piece of tab you know from the original tab here because it's much easier to solder the things. It's much easier to, to put the solder on these little tabs then uh, straight to the cell it's getting overheated or something anyway so the last one is going plus down again and now let's have the top that's it and it's looking good isn't that now I have to find a way to to put all these things together because I'm gonna have a line here another one here another one here to all the tops and then we put all the things in series okay for this I'm going to use a piece of wire like this you see oh this one is already soldered because I used it in another project and I'm going to connect each cell through a thin piece of wire and this also works like like a, like a fuse just in case. So all you have to do now is to have all these things together. It's very nice to use one of these because it's much more power and it's very fast to solder with. I may say one of the most important elements it's the flux. Uh, I'm not fan of using any kind of fancy flux. I'm a uh, an old school uh, colophonium. This is colophonium. Uh, I found this working is working very well. You know, then you have really nice soldier, uh, looking very silver, if I may say. Okay, let's try. Let's see if it's hot enough. Till we found the right position. Here we go. So this this uh, soldier iron, it's like uh, 60 watt, and it's more than enough to do the job. You need, like I said, you need a pretty powerful one to to have a short time for uh, for heating up the things. Here, that's it. Oh, I think this one it's a little problematic, but I'm gonna have some more of this. Yes. Okay. This one here. I have to change it a little bit. 
Well, I have to have new wires here and I have this kind of uh, networking wire, so I'm going to use this for uh, having a new connection. Be really careful because if we touch anything now, it can be a shock hazard. Okay, the first one is here. You have to cut it down to a proper length. And I'm going to do another one here. Flux, of course. Be really careful about because if we touch this with this, then we're gonna have a little bit of trouble. Here we go. Now let's have the main stuff. And it goes like this. Flux. Okay, this is good. Let's keep this in position here. Flux. And done. Pretty okay. Okay. Now all we have to do is to, to have all the others connection. I'm gonna I'm going to start here to the main row, to the main uh, wire. Okay, it's looking good. So that's the wire. It's done. Now all I have to do is to check a little bit. If everything's okay, so I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a minus here from this one and the plus here. Yeah, I said plus here and minus here. Okay, eleven sixty-seven. Oh, it's pretty good shape. It's a pretty good shape. Eleven sixty-seven. Perfect. The first row it's three eighty-eight. The second row it's 389 and 389. So they're pretty good balanced. Now it's very important to check if we have the if we have good connection for for each cell and that's how I'm gonna do it, you know, that put let's have the plus on the bar and then check every button. Good, 388, good, good, oh yes, everything's okay now, let's check again if all the soldiers are in place, mechanically, they are strong enough, yes they are good. One here, yep, everything's okay. So, this was step number one. <coughs> and step number one, it's done. So, the pack it's connected, each cell it's, uh, it's soldiered. Well, now I'm gonna use a BMS. This is a BMS, 100 amps BMS. You see BW34S100A. I have to connect the terminal, the battery terminals to some points here. And then I'm gonna have a charge connection here, a wire for getting to the charger. And this one is the balancing uh, connector. This kind of uh, this kind of BMS battery management system is very nice because it have a it have a balancing function, so you don't have to take care about charging uh, this battery, you know, in a balanced way. Uh, what I'm using for charging, by the way, 
I have an IMAX V2 like this and this is really really nice I really recommend this for uh, for charging lithium batteries but for now I have to find a way to, to have the, the um, BMS connected here and I think I'm gonna have it this way yeah, it fits almost perfect I think I'm gonna use the double tape to have it here but for now uh, let me have uh, the wires to the BMS first okay so the BMS will go here with a, a double tape so here is the balancing port connected in a proper way that keeps uh, all the cells in balance in fact not the cells but the rows of cells in, in balance and that's a nice feature of this kind of uh, BMS uh, board okay now it's time to make all the other connections the in and outs so for connecting the battery to the BMS uh, I'm using this kind of wires I'm not sure what uh, gauge is it but uh, it's pretty sure that it can handle 10 amps for easy uh, it's like 1.2 millimeters or something so this is strong enough for now okay so let's add the minus to the board flux this is good and now for having the right voltage for supplying the laptop like mine at least I need 19 volts how can I get that? I'm gonna use one of this uh, boost uh, board uh, it's a pretty generic one I think it's like 30 amps it goes up to 35 or 36 volts so I'm gonna have 12 volts in here and then I'm gonna have 19 because you have a trimmer here you can you can choose what uh, voltage you have out from this and uh, this will be connected uh, be positioned right here and later connected to to the laptop like I said it's just an experiment uh, that's not the way it will be uh, connected finally so now I need a minus from here to here well I'm gonna use so if you don't have the right wires then you can put few of them in parallel so then you can have more uh, more power through the wires so two of these it will be more than enough now let me have another another wire from from uh, from the general plus from the main plus to this I'm gonna do the same story I'm gonna use two wires have a better current okay so the connection it's done as you may see the plus the plus from the battery is going straight to the boost converter and uh, the minus goes to P out power out minus but as you may see the boost converter it's not working yet so the board the BMS it's locked it's blocked how can we make this working? Well, we have to connect the battery minus to the power minus. And that shows the board that everything is OK and starts doing the things. Here we go. So I have a red light here. And then I can even measure the power, not the power, the voltage, I'm sorry let me see what we got here so I have 1167 from the battery and I have 19.3 
out. Like I said, this can be altered by uh, by this trimmer. So 19.2, 19.3, that should be good for the laptop. Okay, the next step is to, to find the proper uh, connection for, uh, for the laptop in. So this is the kind of connection I'm talking about. So you see, this can be take it off and uh, change to any other kind of format. And now, all I have to do is to to make the proper connection here. So we got minus out minus in the middle here and the plus it's here. Before doing anything else you have to check out how's the how's the original laptop wire connected. So let's measure let's measure this and let me see what kind of voltage we got here. I don't know if you see this. Okay, here we go. So I got 19.2 volts with plus in the middle. This is very important. Plus in the middle. So I have to do exactly the same with this one here. Let's see. I got 19.3 plus in the middle. You see that? So I think we are good to go. Huh? Let's do it. It's plus in the middle and yes, it's working. It's working. And you see, we got there a clear indication that the laptop is powered by an external power supply. Now, this is our external power supply. Here is the clamp meter. It doesn't take too much for, uh, for now. It's only... 250, 250 milliamps but I'm not doing any any kind of serious jump let's say let's let's have a a game and that's the shadow of Tomb Raider so the amps are growing you can see we have 400 Okay, play. 1.3 amps already. And the game is uh, loading. 2 amps. 2.2 amps already. It's going down. Okay. But this, uh, this laptop is pretty capable of doing uh, games. 2.7 2.7, 2.6. Well, that's that's a pretty good processor here. It's an uh, Intel Core i5 7200U, 2.5 gigahertz with a turbo boost to 3.1 giga. Not even 3 amps, and this is pretty good for the battery. And uh, I think this one can deliver. A lot of power. I can use the laptop for a couple of days, like you know, browsing and uh, um, stuff like this. Not too demanding. Like I said, I want to do um, a short test. Let's see if the, the if the board it's working. Yes, it should be. Uh, it should uh, it should stop the battery. It should it should stop the power. In fact, you know. So we have the plus here, and then I'm going to minus here. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. It's done. 
Okay, how we put it back? Minus to power minus. Here we go. So the board is doing a proper job once again. So I'm shorting plus with minus from the battery. That's it. No more power. So the board is working as it should. Uh, it's reacting very fast. If we have a short, an out short, let's see. Okay, it's dead. A good idea. Let's short this one too. Perfect. A very good idea is to to have a reset button from here to here. I'm not, I'm going to do that later. It's just a push button for. A, for resetting the battery. Well, for uh, having all the connection, you know, for uh, for the charging port and uh, in and out and all this power reset, uh, I'm gonna use one of these boards and have all the connection. And this is gonna stay here somewhere, or I don't know. I'll see later. But anyway, this is important because this will reset. The, the BMS, the battery management system. Like I said, this one is getting disconnected if it's a short hazard or too much uh, current or anything wrong happens with the boost converter. And um, I need this to restart the BMS. And I'm going to use one of these for the charging port because this is a this is a standard uh, a kind of standard connector for uh, for uh, IMX for the lithium-ion uh, charger I'm using. Let me show you. So when I have to connect when I have to charge the battery, I'm simply connecting this to this and. That's it. And then I can use it very simple uh, with a lot of amps for charging because this one is taking more than 5 amps for charging for sure. So all the connections are done. I have the reset button here. Just in case that, uh, that the BMS is turning off. And I have the, the charge port here. And uh, I think I I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna go for now with a wire and this kind of plug because I don't have anything properly uh, I don't have a port or something you know to put it here but with a long wire you know going to the laptop I think it should be okay for now uh, and afterwards I'm gonna have some carton or something or some paper to put all these things together and to cover everything to to be sure that it's no uh, short hazard and things like this okay so let me see if the reset is starting so now the BMS it's off okay I push the reset button okay we got power that's nice so the battery it's done uh, and it's working properly that's the way it's looking for now uh, until I'm gonna find the proper case to put it on and here is the the charging port and the reset button and uh, for now I have a fixed connection here but I uh, I'm intending to to have a plug or a kind of port also for power out for load out for now it's okay it's working like this and when I connect to my laptop Ah, you can even hear that, so it's very clear that it's showing like uh, it's working on the mains and it's strong enough to to deliver uh, power to the laptop. What I want to do now is to to see if the if the charging uh, if the charging port is working. So I'm preparing my. Uh, Let's take this out for now. I'm preparing my uh, 
B6, V2, uh, lithium charger, it's on, that's the machine here, plus on red, plus on red, black is minus, I don't need to use the, the balance anymore because the BMS in here, I showed you before, it has its own balancing uh, port. Okay, let's connect this here for now. So, we have a lithium ion battery. Enter lithium ion because this is 1865 uh, cells. Let's go for 4 amps only. And 3S because this is a 3S battery. Oh yes, it's charging. So the port is working as it should. Now uh, I just want to have a test now to see if uh, if the output is on the same level of 19.3 or something like I had before because I have an idea. To see if I can work on the computer in the same time. Oh yes, 19.3. So I don't see any problem as long as it's charging to have the laptop connected. Let's try that. Perfect. It's working. Mm-hmm. So we can do the both, uh, we can do the same uh, like before, we can use the, the charging and uh, the load in the same time this way. Let's talk a little bit the BMS uh, wiring diagram, you know, uh, because it's pretty difficult to understand that. Okay, so as you may see down on the left we have the balancer, so it's very it's very important to have all these wires connected properly. Up top on the left we have the charge port, so we take the plus, the main plus, and the minus from the charge port to charge the battery pack. On the right we have the main load, the minus goes to the main load, and we take the plus from the main plus with the main minus to have the power out from the battery pack. And now that's the general schematic for this project. We take the battery and from the battery go to PMS. Then we have this uh, boost converter. The plus it's general, I may say. And from the boost converter eventually we are going out to the laptop with 19 volts. As I say, uh, as I said before, uh, the bus converter it can be trimmed to any kind of voltage between 12 and 35 volts it can be used for any other project well uh, that's all for now i'm gonna try to find the proper case with a proper ventilation for this uh, battery and uh, i'll put some uh, some more info about uh, amperage and uh, power and all the that's and everything else about this project. Uh, thank you for now.